fine uh, you are an audit senior and you are doing the audit for the client materiality is 50000 and you are carrying a detailed substantive procedure the audit emphasis understatement of papers means you have shown less uh, the client has shown less sorry and it is significant audit risk okay below is an extract of the supplier statement they have given the supply led held by the company the company got the supplier statements uh, list of supplier statements as on held by the it is the balances uh, in the books of the client and there is a corresponding payable ledger is also the same day with commentary on the note they gave you the statement balance payable balance okay statement balance is how much that they are having two clients okay carnation statement balance is 70 and payable balance is 50 statement balance is 175 and payable ledger balance is 105 okay means definitely in both the cases they have undershot the difference in the balance is due to the invoice which is under dispute due to the faulty goods which was written means they have written some goods and for that you are not you are we do, you are not agreeing with this okay the second one the difference in the balance is to supplier state showing the invoice dated of 70000 was not recorded in the until the year end the payable clerk has advised an audit team that the invoice was not received until 2nd april is it see invoice was dated on 29th march is it which was not recorded in the financial statement but payables clerks saying that advised the audit team that the invoice was was not received is that day, invoice date is 29th march and still invoice has not been received okay invoice has not been received now what they are asking us the audit manager asked you is it the audit manager asked you uh, to review the full list of payables and select balances on which supplier statement reconciliation will be performed okay now if you want to do supplier statement what they're saying which has to be included and which has to be excluded is that now indicate on the table below if the following items should be included in or excluded from your sample is that it has to be included it has. now see the thing suppliers with material balances at the year end material balances at the year end we have to include in the reconciliation or not suppliers balance supply with material balance material balance means it has value okay it has value we have to make we have to make sure that the is that we have to make sure that it has to be included or should not be included included it should be included see i see okay i don't have anything we are just we are just doing as we are doing in the examination suppliers which have a high volume of business with poppy company a supplier is having a high value customer okay you are supplying a supplier is having a high value customer high value customers what is the criteria when the criteria is you have to take into consideration high value customers on that you have to do a substantial procedures on sample basis we have to include high value customers also is yes it, is that we have yes, to include yeah. high value customers next major suppliers with nil balances see these are the substantive procedures of the payables okay these are the substantive procedure major whenever you are doing whenever you are doing and substantive procedures in any case i am telling you in receivables in payables in bank reconciliations in banks also we have to take the bank accounts will nil balances 
is that we have to take bank accounts with nil balances. In receivables also, we have to take accounts with nil balances. In payables also, means we should know that to whom we have settled it down, okay, to with whom we have settled it down. Do you don't have any closing balance, means the, those suppliers' account has been paid off or they don't have existence in the financial statements. We have to include or exclude. exclude. Tell me. They have no balances. Yes. Any, see, I told you, it applies, it applies to, it applies to receivables, it applies to payables, and it also applies to bank re substantial procedures, cash and bank. Any nil balances, okay, any nil balances, it has to be part of the substantial procedures. What we have to do? Exclude. Major suppliers where the statement agrees to the ledger. Major supplies. It's agreeing with the statement. Okay, it's agreeing with the statement. See, we we will we will include only this when there is a material misstatement. Is that material misstatement? If it is agreeing, is that the the supplier list and the ledger is agreeing? Even though we will do a sample of procedures, but we will not go in detail because. We are agreeing it, okay? We are, we are, when it has been agreed, definitely there is, there is no dispute as such, okay? There is no dispute as such. What we have to do? Exclude. Okay? Next. Next. Which of the following audit procedures should be performed in relation to balance with Lilly Company? What happens to Lilly Company? Lilly Company is 175. Statement shows 175 and payable shows 1. And what, are the re what is the reason they gave for Lilly Company? They said that difference is balanced due to the supply statement on invoice date. Okay, on invoice, they, they, the date of invoice is 29th March, but till 2nd of April, we didn't receive it. It happens. Okay, it happens. This There's nothing that it will not happen. It happens. If that is the case, what we have to do? Inspect the goods received note and determine when the goods were received. Inspect, you read this one, all these four options and tell me, I will help you. Inspect the good received note to determine when goods were received. Inspect the purchase order to confirm it is dated before the year end. Review the first year end cash book for evidence of payment of the invoice. Send a confirmation request to Lily Co to confirm the outstanding balance. You tell me your answer. You you study it, understand it, and tell me. Then I will. I am here to support you. The, the third one is out, right? Okay, fine, good, good. Third one is out. Next. We should send a confirm. No, no, we, we don't ask about the outstanding balance. Date. Date. They have dispatched, and we have not received. We know, we know the balance is how much. It is 175. The only complex comes is on the invoice date. Yes. So, should we send a confirmation? 
No, confirmation will send to check the balances. Okay. Outstand to confirm outstanding yeah. balance. See, in the option only balance. you will get, you will get. We are not talking about the outstanding balance. Already outstanding balance is there. there we are showing 175 okay. and as per the ledger it is 105. Okay. We are not sending. Confirmation balance will, will be will done with respect to rights and obligations. Is it? With respect to rights and obligations. It's either one or two. Now, uh, this, this is most crucial. This is most crucial. In the examination also, you will come to the same understanding. You will come to one and two. Now, this is where you are understanding knowledge come into picture. Which one is one? Which, which one? One or two? Now, one and two. I will explain you now. Inspect the goods received note to determine goods has been received. They have dispatched, okay? They have dispatched on 4th. We have not received till 2nd. Is it right? They have dispatched on 4th. We have not received till 2nd of April. Inspect the purchase. Purchase order we will issue in the beginning. We will not issue in the thing. Purchase order. You issue purchase order in February. You will receive in March. Okay? You receive in March. Purchase order will, there will be a time between usually 30 days validity will be there for the purchase order. Usually 30 days validity. Okay. Now purchase of confirm it is dated before the year end. We are not talking about cutoff. Is it? Year end is, the moment you are talking about the year end, we are thinking it is in terms of cutoff. Here we are not talking about the cutoff. We are talking about what? We are Whether we have received it or we have not received it. Point two is related to cutoff. Whenever we are talking about dated before or after year end, is that any substantive procedure? It is a related to cutoff. Answer is the first one. I'm just putting it. Okay. I'm just, uh, we, we will come to the things the moment we will submit in the end. Okay. Which of the audit, following audit procedure should be carried to confirm the balance? You want to confirm the balance owing to carnation. What is the, what are the things we have to do? Review post year end credit notes for evidence of acceptance of return. You read one, two, three. Review the uh, review post year and credit notes for evidence of acceptance of return. Inspect per year and goods return note in respect of the item sent back to the suppliers. Inspect post year and cash book of evidence that amount has been settled. We want to know the confirmation of the, uh, should we confirm the balance, balance confirmation. When you are talking about the balance confirmation, what we have to do? Correct evidence. Uh, we have to send confirmation letter for them. But here there is no. No, fine. In this, from this, which, which are the, which are, are 1, 2 and 3, or 1 and 3 and 1 and 2, which one is there? First, you eliminate it. Which is not there, you eliminate it. If there is elimination, you eliminate, answer will be there. See, number one and three, they talk about evidence. Collecting evidence, right? Huh. And this is actually audit producers. Okay. But number three, two, It's like he is inspecting. Confirm the balance. When you are confirming the balance, you have to confirm the balance. You have to inspect your goods returned note in respect of the item sent back to the suppliers. Hmm. No. Inspect past year and cash book 
and the amount that has been settled. Three is correct, right? Three inspect post year end cash book for evidence that the amount has been settled. Whether we have we have settled the we have settled the things or not, which of the following audit procedures? Now, which of the following audit procedure? Review past year, is it to confirm the review past year and N credit notes for evidence of acceptance the returns. See what will happen, you will have, see, think little bit about financial accounting. You have purchase, purchase returns will be there. Mm -hmm. Purchase discounts will be there. Mm -hmm. Is that you will have purchases? We will not write. We will say that sales minus opening inventory plus purchases minus closing inventory will write. But if you go in details, what other things will be there? You have purchases will be there, purchase returns will be there, purchase discounts will be there. Is that all things will be especially purchases and purchase returns will be there. We will detect returns. Okay, we will detect returns from the purchases. Is that we will deduct returns from the purchases. Once we are deducting returns from the purchases, that is the net balance we will pay for the purchases. Now, when you are returning, when you are returning the purchases, what the 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 supplier will give to you? Something to prove that no, sir, they will give you an exchange note. Is it right? Yeah. yeah. They will give you exchange exchange invoice. They will give. Exchange invoice is called as a credit note. Understand point? See the thing. Exchange invoice means it is return. Means next time within seven days you go back and you show the invoice without paying, you will get the product. You can exchange it. Okay. Which was the odd should be to confirm the balance. To confirm the balance is Review past year credit notes for evidence of the absence. Without this, can without exchange invoice, can we go and exchange the products? No. No. Okay. We, we, before without evidence, we cannot do anything. Is it right? Means that will be mm -hmm. that will show in that they will say that yes, this much amount is there. You are entitled to exchange the pro value to the extent of this much amount okay means you have to review past year credit notes for evidence that yes they have accepted of returns is that they have accepted of return are you clear about this yeah, yeah. inspect pre year yen goods return notes in respect of the item sent back to the suppliers Inspect pre year end goods note, goods return note in respect of the items sent back to the supplies. Are we getting any result from this? No. In see, inspect pre year end, pre year end goods received note. Is that you, 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 what you are and in respect whichever has been sent back to the suppliers is it right? see you have received the note you have received the goods and see there is a conflict between the balances okay you have received the goods and you have returned the goods to the suppliers when you are returning the goods definitely what will happen 
there will be some documents will be there mm. is it right whatever the, the goods received note and whatever the se- back sent you have received 100 units you have written back how much 20 units is that right? see the problem comes there is a dispute between you and supplier when there is a dispute between you and supplier you should know where we have to resolve that dispute understand point where we have to show the evidence that that the balance as per my statement is right okay now first thing what we will do we will we will see credit notes of evidence of acceptance of means we are sending the we will show the credit notes that it has been accepted completeness second one we are what we are doing pre year end before that date we will we will uh, take the goods received note and we will say that whether this has been sent to the suppliers or not returned to the suppliers or not if it has been returned to the suppliers that is also one of the evidence See, when you are returning what you will do you will reduce the balance quantity as well as balance is it right in your books yes yes is it in your books means one side you are getting the external confirmation second side you are getting internal confirmation is it second side you are getting internal confirmation next inspect post year end cash book for evidence that the amount has been settled whenever you caught about the settlements valuation rights and obligations is it revaluation rights and obligations is it rights and value we are is it we are we are not talking about the confirmation we are talking the inspect post year end next year we are not talking about the next year we are talking about the pre year 31st what is the cut off date is it right for evidence that has been that the amount has been settled when the, that the amount has been settled this is a dispute it is not about settlement it is the concept of a dispute when a concept of the dispute we should know that whether we have received it whether we have returned it whether we have taken into consideration the items which has been returned has been dispa- returned back from our inventory now based on this understanding what is the you think again eliminate if you want to eliminate you eliminate if you don't want to eliminate you have one two three options also take your time th- 30 seconds and tell me you uh, said that the last one talks about post year end also the first one talks about again the post year end now okay the first one talks about the credit notes is that the first one talks about the credit notes the last one talks about the cash book here we are reviewing it here you are inspecting it is it right? here you are reviewing it when you when there is when you will have a difference in in balances what you will do you will what you are reviewing what you are inspecting that's very important okay what you are reviewing what in the first one you will review the post year past post year end credit notes credit notes is related to payables is that credit notes for evidence of acceptance of returns see still what happens we are not settling down what what the process they say that they say that what the difference in the balance is due due to an invoice it is not settlement it is because of a invoice which is under dispute to the faulty goods faulty goods you will return the faulty goods Mm. is that we are returning the faulty goods when you return any faulty goods what you will get you will get credit note okay yes yes okay you will get the credit note you are not talking about anything about cash payments okay you are not talking about anything about cash payment is it means 
you you are you are inspect the goods receive go, where is that review review past year credit notes it is a faulty goods when it is a faulty goods definitely you have you have purchased it and you are returning it definitely they will give you a exchange invoice okay for evidence that acceptance of return is it okay first one correct correct next it again you you see the thing the difference in the balance is due to invoice which is under dispute inspect pre year end goods return note when there is a faulty goods you are returning the goods of the item sent back to the suppliers is that that's very important what is the scenario they are given and what is the option we are going to add we are not talk, it is a faulty goods is there anything related to cash no then answer is only one and two answer is hello yeah answer is only one and two next the audit manager has asked you to review the results of some statistical sample testing is there some statistical sample testing which results in 20% of the payable balance being tested fine the results indicate that you read this one the results indicate yes. start the result from the beginning result. The audit manager has asked you to review the results of some statistical sampling testing, which resulted in 20% of payable balances being tested. The testing results indicate that there is $45,000 error in the sample, $20,000 which is due to invoices not being recorded. Twenty thousand, not recorded, in the correct period, as a result of weak controls, and additionally, there is no, there is a one-off error, twenty-five thousand dollars, which was made up by temporary clerk. What would an appropriate course of action on the basis of this result? Right, the twenty percent. The results indicate that forty-five percent to twenty twenty-five. Okay. The error is immaterial, and therefore no further work is required. The effect of the control error should be projected across the whole population. Copy code should be asked to adjust the payable figure of forty-five thousand. A different sample should be selected, as this result are not reflective of the population. Mister, the thing is, there is a temporary clerk who registered those amounts wrong, wrongly, right? Hmm. So okay, they will be asked to adjust them correctly. You will ask to adjust them correctly. The payables. You will. You want. You will adjust. Copy and code should be asked to adjust. The payable figure by forty-five thousand dollars. Okay, there is some shortage of ten thousand dollars will be there. You will say that okay, don't do anything. You adjust this by make ten thousand to twenty and twenty thousand to ten thousand. No, 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 no. Sir, sir, twenty plus twenty-five is how much? Forty-five. They recorded them. They are recorded, but in uh, not in the right place. Right. Is this right? What I understand, which is due to invoices not being recorded in the correct period, as a result of weak controls, and additionally, there is a one-off error of twenty-five thousand, which was made by a temporary clerk. It is a temporary clerk. Okay, risk is high. Temporary clerk, the risk is high. Is it right? first one go with the what course of action you will take based on this the error is immaterial or material immaterial 45000 is immaterial the error is material or immaterial it's a materiality yes it is a material 
it is a material first one is right first one can be taken or not no mister no. refer it is a material because of the bigger uh, bigger amount right yes okay okay it is material next the effect of the control address should be projected across all the whole population it is by, by done by whom it is done by zip if you are a regular staff responsibility is high if you are a temporary staff responsibility is very less we have see how much they say they have result which result in 20% of the population being tested is it the man has asked to review the results of some which resulted in now they have come across the result indicate that 45000 error in sample 20000 is due to invoices not being recorded in the correct period cut off they have not taken rights and obligation completeness nothing is there is it right as a result of weak controls weak controls are there is it right? and additionally there is one of error 25000 which was made by the temporary clerk is it right see you you it is a, it is related to payables when it is related to the payables it is not a small amount it is a big amount you have it is done by a temporary staff it is the, means what you have to do you should the moment you will come across this you have to increase the sample size is that you have to maybe this is we can't say it is only one of error there may be some some more errors will be there you cannot come to a conclusion based on only one error if you have see what happens if there is a material misstatements the rule says that you have to do full substantive procedures if it is it is correct you have to do restricted substantive procedures if you are having some errors you have noticed some errors it is not one of error you you increase the size maybe you are population size should be increased or you will say that if you are having only 20 transaction 50 transaction check all we cannot check all the verify all the transaction but increase increase to the sample size and make sure that the things has to be identified correctly is that the and there is a which there is a weak controls is that there is a we see in the question only answer will be there in the question only answer will be there what they are saying the, there is and there are weak controls the effect of control error should be projected across the whole population okay across the whole population come to the third one poppy has should be asked to adjust the payables figures no we cannot say adjust the payable figures unless until there is a evidence there is a evidence that only then you can say you have to follow you after procedures only you should come to a conclusion we cannot come to a conclusion and say that yes you adjust it it is done by the temporary staff it is one error if you go on doing adjustment can we do any adjustment is it possible is it possible no no we cannot we cannot do any adjustment and poppy company what is that who is poppy poppy company cannot or an auditor cannot say that adjust it can auditor will tell you that you adjust this one no a different sample should be selected as these results are not see there is an error in sample you are not solving the sample we will say that okay forget about this sample we will take another sample and we'll ignore this sample no no answer is second one to help improve audit efficiency value is considering introduce of caat for some audits on caat there will be so many questions okay there will be questions you have been asked to consider how cat has been used during the audit of poppy company okay now read the read the question read the options to help improve audit efficiency vary and co is considering introducing the use of computer assisted audit techniques 
for some audits. You have been asked to consider how CAAT could be used during the audit of Poppy & Co. Which of the following is an example of using test data for trade payables testing? Test data, first understand. You, we, have, we have not covered test data. Test data, again once class is over, you, you listen to this video. I am sending you immediately. Test test mm -hmm. data is nothing but you are testing the, you, you see your name will be there. What, what they will say, input alphabets, input alphanumeric, input special characters. The, it has to be eight, if you are talking about the passwords, they say it has to be capital first, one, one should be capital letter, one should be ca special character, one should be number. Like that, if they are giving you the uh, information like this, instructions like this, it means there is a, it is a test error. Now what you will do, you will give the negative things, okay, you will, you, they ask you to give capital letters, you will not give capital letters, you will do all small letters, it will not accept. They are saying that it is eight characters, you will give seven characters, it will not accept. They say that previous password should not be used. You are using the same password. It will not accept. Understand the point? It is very simple. What we are doing in practical terms, that the same is there in the audit terms. Relate to the examples. You will understand more clearly. Is it right? Means you have to test what they say to help improving audit efficiency, considering introducing the use of CAT you are being asked to how CAD can be used during the audit of which of the following is an is an example of using test data for payables. Now you read the options. Selecting a sample of suppliers balances for testing using monetary unit sampling. Recalculating the aging of trade payables to identify balances which may be in dispute. Calculation of trade payables payment period using an analytical procedures. Inputting dummy purchase invoices into the client system to see if proceeds correctly. Mr. The last one inputting dummy purchase invoices into the client system to see if persist correctly you have to tell it's 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 not like we will eliminate it because the question says uh you have been asked to consider how that could be used during the audits of poppy and co why should we put them in purchases and voices right see the things see the things Rules are there when you are talking about when you are talking about payables, say purchases. You will have a purchase list to only from those people we have to purchase. Okay, mm -hmm. approved purchase suppliers list will be there only on mm -hmm. yes. Tell me. Yeah, I'm yeah, doing yeah. yes. Okay, only I'm suppliers the list will be there. We should we should place the orders only to the approved suppliers list. Now what is the test data? Test data is you are giving wrong inputs and we are want to test whether the cat is working properly or not. If you are in, if you are having your number, is it right? You are having your ID number and you are giving a wrong number, is it right? You are, you are having, see two things has to go through to easy, username and password, is it right? 
यूजर नेम इज करेक्ट पासवर्ड इज रॉन्ग इट विल नॉट एक्सेप्ट यूजर नेम इज रॉन्ग पासवर्ड इज करेक्ट इट विल नॉट एक्सेप्ट यस आर नो इज राइट टू थिंग्स आर दे इज राइट नाउ वॉट हैपन्स टू नो यू विल गिव करेक्ट यूजर नेम एंड रॉन्ग पासवर्ड टेस्ट डेटा इज यू आर टेस्टिंग द यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड टेस्ट डेटा इज यू आर टेस्टिंग द सप्लाइर्स लिस्ट यू से दैट सप्लाइर्स लिस्ट इज एक्स वाई जेड बट यू आर गिविंग ए रॉन्ग नंबर it is a payment is it right when you are making the payment what happens just imagine when you are making the payment the date should match the supplier code should match the supplier name should match everything should be in the your data list okay your data list you cannot add anything your amount should match see you are generating some way some way two months back now you want to make the payment when you are making the payment is it can we change anything whatever the purchase invoice we have raised same purchase invoice you have to retrieve from the system and from the same purchase invoice you have to make a payment is it right now if you are if you are inputting some different first of all we cannot input very simple is that first of all we cannot input but if you are inputting dummy their variables it will not accept yes sir that's why i am telling you we should eliminate the last one what they are saying which of the following is an example is an example is it right now coming back from the first one selecting a sum sample of supplier balances are we selecting any supplier balances using monetary sample method mm. when you are supplying the no. balances using monetary we, we we are doing aged aged payables is it right we are talking about we are seeing that how on the basis of money we are we are can are we are we testing anything here no. we are selecting we are not testing okay we are selecting we are not testing recalculating the aged payables to identify payables which may be in dispute are we testing anything here second point anything accuracy is it right we are talking about accuracy recalculating the aged to identify which may be in dispute means we have any differences are there any differences are there we are may, casting the things we are may, we are recalculating is it right any differences are we testing anything we are not, not testing, testing the accuracy yeah calculating the payables payment period are we doing any comparative comparison test data are we what is the concept of test data the concept of test data is very clearly input negative values to know whether they are accepting or not if we are giving the negative value see very simple your username will be there you are giving your password even a small change in password caps lock caps not lock some password some change in you are eight characters you are giving only seven characters it will accept no it will not accept means the both should match the moment you are giving dummy way to know whether your password is password is really working or not i will give some some negative numbers some other password the moment i am giving other password what will happen it will reject this is the concept of test data is it the concept of test data is give dummy variables give negative members beta testing we use the word negative testing when you say beta testing we are giving negative numbers dummy variables to know see you should know that your computer system is perfect or not yeah your system is perfect or not you have the see they, you they the moment you are entering they will give you a digital entry card is it right you you, you tap it it will and you can enter 
you have a credit card you tap it it will come okay so the things are very clear test data is uh, you have to give a negative values dummy variable values to know whether the system is accepting or not if the system is accepting you will have a weak controls if system is not accepting this process is called as a test data are you clear about this yeah answer is he said we can but inputting dummy purchases invoices hmm. to see if the client system if it proceeds correctly hmm. this is the test data yes if you are if you are if you are inputting dummy purchases what will happen it will reject yeah is that it will reject answer is the fourth one yeah okay next we'll do this also till what time you are you you can you can be here i'm okay with for you only sala right yeah then 10:45 we'll see okay inshallah next see this one read the see now i will tell you now you have the thing. first egg, read the read the scenario okay highlight the scenario now based on that three questions will be related to the scenario two questions will be related to the concept understand but mm-hmm. three questions will be related to the scenario this is the normal practice fine read the scenario two times is it read the scenario two times understand scenario don't rush to the questions don't rush they say that you have to do question now in the questions also see i will i will show you very technical approach in the questions also you eliminate it automatically things will be easy what will happen ultimately we will come come to the conclusion of two question, two options will be there there we have to understand apply the knowledge and in the question only they will give you the answer take the one mm-hmm. read one first read the scenario here yeah, an audit manager uh, assumes the first of july 2015 there an audit manager at blinking and co <coughs> and are uh, bring, bringing in company and uh, approaching the end of the audit of samsung company which is a large listed retailer the draft of the draft financial statement currently show a profit before tax of 6.5 million and revenue of 66 million for the financial year end 31st of march 2015 you have been informed that the finance director left san francisco on the 28th february 2015 As part of the subsequent events audit procedures you reviewed first year end board meeting meeting minutes and discovered that a legal case of for unfair dismissal has been brought against some funds a company by the finance director during a discussion with the human resource director of some funds and co you established that the company received notes of the proposed legal claim on the 10th of april 2015 the hr director told you that sanfans company lawyers believe that the finance director claim is likely to be successful but is to mean that 150000 is a maximum amount of comp- compensation which will be paid however management does not intend to make any adjustment or disclosure in the financial statement you are required from thinking and co has a responsibility to perform producers to obtain sufficient appropriate evidence that subsequent events are appropriately reflected in the financial statement of sam and co The timeline below shows four dates indicated by selecting from the following options up until 
which date the auditor should perform subsequent event procedures. The date subsequent event procedures review is performed, the date of the approval of the financial statements, the date of audit report, the date the financial statements are issued. So, Mr. Mm. We are having like a legal issue. Mm. Okay, and they estimate that 150,000 is the maximum amount of the compensation, mm. but it's like they do not believe that it will affect their financial statements. Hmm. What they are saying, they are asking us within the scenario, auditor has the responsibility to perform procedures to obtain sufficient all the things. The timeline below shows four dates indicate by selecting from the following options up until which date, maximum date, the auditor can wait? Is it maximum date the auditor can wait? Is it right? Should perform. Till what date we can, auditor should wait? The date the subsequent re events reviewed is performed. Is it right? Till there will be date. The date of approval of the financial statements which will come first, which will come second, okay? The date of the auditor's report, the date of financial statements are issued. Where the auditor's responsibility, till which date the auditor has the responsibility. The responsibility of what? Of the auditor to wait for this conclusion is right by which date are uh, up up until which date you see the last second line in question number six um uh, until which date the auditor should perform subsequent events procedures As the event will uh, will affect on the financial statement, mm. so he has to wait for the financial statement. He has to wait for the financial statements. Financial statements are issued when once it has been approved by the by the AGM. Okay, once it, the financial statement, see date of subsequent events reviewed is performed. There is no date for subsequent events will, will be performed till, till the auditor will sign. Okay, the events before that, events before you sign, events after you sign. Okay, events before you sign. If, if you remember this, we have done this in the review. Is it right? In the review, what we have done? In the, in the review, what we have done? There are three dates are there. Is it right? In the review, what we have done, when we are reporting date will be there, the signing date will be there, the issue date will be there. Yes. Is that the reporting date will be there, the signing date will be there, the issue date. See, reporting date is 31st December. Is it right? They will do till the auditor will sign. Auditor has the responsibility. Is it right? Auditor has the responsibility. Once the auditor has signed, if there is any material misstatement that comes to the notice, then they can they can make it a modified opinion. Is that they can they can change? They can ask the management to change if it is going to have a, that much impact on the financial statements. Is that the date of approval of the financial statement? This is not all related. You can approve any time. This is not the. Jo this is not the responsibility of the auditor. The auditor responsibility is related to audit report only. The auditor responsibility is not related to when you are issuing financial statements, when you are not issuing financial statements. My job, you see, now it is there, 31st 
till 30th April. 30th April. I will, I will complete my job by 28th of April, March. Once I complete my audit, I do the audit by 28th March. After 28th March, if anything is there, then I will look into specifically with financial statement. But if anything is not there, I will say that till 30, 28th at March, things are like this. Is it right? If 30, 30, if you are signing on 30th of April, they will issue 30th of April. They, they, will, they will say that the approval will be there somewhere down the line. But the job of the auditor, see your job is where your job ends when you have signed the report. Is it right? Yeah. yeah. Is it? After one signing the report, your job, see, litigation, what they are saying? They are saying that, uh, they are saying that they are not, they estimate maximum amount of company, estimation only, which would, would be paid. However, management does not intend to make any adjustments or disclosures. They are estimating. Is that it is, it is not, it is not going to happen. Yet the chance of occurrence is less. Is that they are estimating, and they are very clear. Is that they are very clear that uh, management does not intend to make any adjustments or disclosures. Is that claim is likely the. the Lawyers, the HR directors told you that Samsung company lawyers believe that the finance director claim is likely to be successful, but estimate that 150 is the maximum amount of compensation which would be paid. However, the management does not intend to make any adjustments or disclosures. Write down things. There is one standard is there. ISA 560. Write down there in your notes. ISA 560. Subsequent events. Is that ISA 520? ISA 560. Sorry. ISA 560. Subsequent events. See. What, what is the director's, this auditor's responsibility? Auditor's responsibility is to carry out between the reporting date, is it right? Between the date of financial statements and date of audit report. Is it ISA 560, subsequent events. If there is an, any possibility, we will cover this. Is it between a reporting date and the audit report? That is the auditor's responsibility. After audit report, what will happen? They will see how it is going to be dealt with. Is it okay? So the auditor, the date of the auditor report, right? Yes. Okay. If, if after, uh, read, 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 sorry. If after the financial statements have been issued, banking and co becomes aware of the fact which may have caused its report to be amended, the firm should consider several possible actions. Which two of the following appropriate actions for banking and co to take? First of all, discuss the matter with the management and where appropriate those charged with governance, obtain a written representation from the management, consider whether the firm should resign from the engagement, inquire how management intends to address the matter in the financial statements where appropriate. Financial statements have been issued. They have to obtain a, represent, a written representation from the management. Then? And 
then inquire how the relevant You put the and sequence. Then, you put the sequence. They say which two of the following are appropriate actions. Appropriate actions. Okay. First, you return representation from the management is the last resort. Is it right? After everything is done, first first you have to try to solve the issue as such. Is it right? Whenever it's happening. First, you discuss with the management. Discuss with the management. This is an important point. Anything happened, discuss the matter with the management, appropriate. Discuss with the people who are charged with governance. First, you should see. First, you should. I will, I will not come. I will not write a report and I will ask you to give you me a report. Is it? I will not ask you to give in writing. First, I, what I will do, I will, I will discuss with you. What is the matter? Is the matter is related or not? How we can see? Is that once we have a discussion, fine. If we can solve at that stage, it is good. Second, what we will do? We will inquire with the management. We will ask them how. Okay, we, we are discussing with the management. Then we will ask them that how you are going to solve this problem. Is that how we are going to solve this? problem as such then okay fine it is solved done if it is not solved then we will ask give us return representation why it is not solved understand point the see put the numbers is it right the first one will be discussed the second one will be inquire with the management how management intends to address if it is solved fine we have to solve the issues we should not blow up the issue is it next extreme case we should obtain a return representation the auditor should not resign that is the option you have to eliminate first that if there is any issue if you go on doing like this if there is a issue i will resign if there is you an assign then there, there is there, then this cannot be solved is it giving a resignation it takes we have to then we have to explain so many things why we are giving resignation what are the things are there okay now what is the what is the appropriate the discussion is the appropriate second inquiry is the appropriate then the return representation is appropriate then the last which is not appropriate is the resignation answer is There is three of them which is appropriate. We choose first two which is discussed and then inquiry. Which of the following of these procedures should be performed to form a conclusion as to whether the financial statements require amendment in relation to the unfair dismissal fee? Respect the evidence corresponded with sequence and code lawyers. Write the finance directly to confirm the claim and level of damages. Review the past year cash book evidence payment to the finance director. Request that management confirm their views in the same presentation. Mr. Uh, number three is out. There is nothing about cash book. No problem. So we we'll eliminate number three. And then we we'll inspect and request. One, two, one, two. I think it is one right to the finance manager to confirm the thing. Mr. The finance manager have resigned. How can I write to the finance manager? Where is he resigned? No, 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 I thought I can go to the first one. One, two, and four. 
Press second one. One, two, and? Four. We have to talk to the lawyers to know what's happening. Hmm. We have to, uh, to know what the level of damages if this uh, case went on, hmm. which is writing to the finance manager. Hmm. And then uh, is we have to request for uh, confirm the views in a written presentation. You have to have something written. Hmm. Right? So one, two, and four. The second one. There is nothing about cash book and finance. There is nothing about? Cash book. Cash book. Is it right? Is it right? Claim is there. Unfair dismissal of claim. What is the point they are asking? Post and discuss there is an unfair dismissal of claim has brought against by the finance director during discussion with the human resources. You established that the received notice for a legal claim of homage on 10th April. And that legal claim, see, you are talking in terms of a finance director is claiming, finance director is claiming that it is likely to be successful. Is it right? likely to be successful? Finance, yes, yes, yes. finance director is claiming, and again you will write to the finance director to confirm the claim. Is it? Right? You write to the finance director. Finance director is claiming. Is it? Right? Finance director is claiming. Is there finance director is claiming? Again, you will write. Yeah, yeah Mister, it's written right to the finance director to, to confirm, confirm the claim and level of damage. Yeah. It's like a confirmation that he is claiming reason about the claim. Somewhere is written about finance director. Here, as they said, that the finance director is claiming. So we we'll ask him to write a uh, to confirm about the claim and the level of damages. You are an audio. You are approaching the which is listed the other finance a revenue fine as part of it. So that you reviewed and the legal case to unfair dismissal sought against. As part of subsequent, you you uh, unfair dismissal. The uh, you are reviewed by and discovered that there is a legal case by unfair dismissal by against uh, by the finance uh, during the discussion with human resources. See, you are established the company received note to the promost. See what happened. You are dismissing the finance director. Finance director is claiming on you. Okay, mm -hmm. the finance director is is filed a legal case against the company. Finance director is successful. The claim finance director is thinking that the claim will be successful, but the company firm says that the claim management says that the claim will not be successful. Is that the understand my point? And the, what happening? They have a unfair dismissal of the finance director. And the financial director has filed a report, legal case against the company by a, with a claim of 150,000. The finance director, see, yeah, when finance director is filing, he will be optimistic, okay? But come firm says that it is not likely to happen, okay? It's not likely to happen. Are you clear about the scenario? Yes. Yes. No. You have a dis you have dismissed the finance director. Again, you will ask the finance director to give give the clear, confirm it. Already, finance director has has claiming he is part of the system. No. He is part of the system. He is not part of the system. 
inspect relevance correspondence with samsung lawyers you have to do with the lawyers because it is a legal issue review the past mm. year end cash book for evidence of payments to the finance director whether we have paid any payments to the finance director again this claims okay if we have paid definitely there is a there is a reason for that request that management confirm their views in a written this is a legal case if it is a legal case you have and it is material also is that you have to get a written representation from the seek go by the sequence okay go by the sequence the last one is getting the written representation first one is you have to discuss inspect correspondence inspect any what is the correspondence with the lawyers then you will see what is the any cash transactions have been happened the last one is then you have to go with the written representation finance director is not part of the system now he already go, it has been he dismissed when he has been dismissed again we are not going to approach the person who has been dismissed are you clear about this Yes. No. The third one, one, three, and four. We cannot ask the finance to confirm. It's out of the system. Next. You are drafting the audit report for Samsung Company, and the audit engagement partner has reminded you that. Read, please. Yeah, and we are drafting the audit report for Samsung Company, and the audit engagement partner has reminded you that the report will need to reflect the requirements of ISA 701, communicating key audit matters in the independent audit report. According to the ISA 701, which of the following should be included in the key audit matters paragraph in the audit report? Matters should, which required significant audit attention, matters which result in a modification to the audit opinion, all matters which were communicated to those charged with governance, all matters which are considered to be material to the financial statement. What is the answer? You are a drafting an audit report, Sam, an audit engagement partner. Remember that. The report will need to reflect the requirements of ISO as a 70 communicating key matters in the independent audit reports. Key matters, important matters. According to the ISA 701, which of the following should be included in the key matters or key audit matters? Okay. Now, which one we have to matters which require significant auditor attention? Significant mm -hmm. as see what it says communicating key matters ISA 701. I think it is all matters which are communicated to those charged with governance. Listen, they are asking key matters, important matters. You will include all matters? No, but it's only all, all the matters that were. Charge to the corporate, charge to the government. No, you they are asking key matters. What are key matters? Important matters. Key matters, significant matters. Key audit matters. You cannot say key means all. Key means important. Key means significant. Key means which are very very specific. If you that is the case, all matters comes under key matters, then you are putting everything here. There is no differentiation between key matters and all matters. Mm. Understand the point? Yeah. yeah. 
all matters will be eliminated key matters means only important one now okay now means 3 and 4 is eliminated completely 1 and 2 which matters require significant attention and which matters which results in a modification of the audit opinion they are asking significant matters key matters when they are talking about key matters is nothing but significant matters. We are not talking about opinions. Understand, Brian? We are not talking about opinions. We are talking in terms of the things which are making, which we need attention. Is it right? Which we need attention. Is it right? Which, see, I want to say these are the matters, these are important matters. Means, I want you to focus on these matters. These are important matters. Is it opinion doesn't come matters which related modification of the opinion? You are doing modification. That's that's fine. That that comes part of the opinion, but it is not the matter of significance. So it's, so it's not the third. It's not the fourth. Yes. And it should be significant. Yes. Which means the first one. Which required to increase attention. Understand? Understand the understand. This is the this is the paper of understanding the audit English. That's all. Okay, this is the paper. Practically, you should know what we are doing. Nothing is there. That that's very simple. Is it? It is only to understand how it will be easy to make. Which of the audit opinion? Read one. Read this one. Which of the following audit opinions should be issued in the unfair dismissal cases is not adjusted for the disclosed within the financial statement. A qualified audit opinion as a financial statement and material can be stated. A qualified open opinion, audit opinion as the auditor is unable to obtain sufficient appropriate evidence. An unmodified opinion, which an emphasizes of matter paragraph, an unmodified audit opinion. This is not adjusted for dismissal within the financial. Firm said no. The management says there is no claim. If there is a claim, you have to modify. If there is no claim, you should not modify. Understand point? If there is a claim, you have to modify, you have to pay it. Now, what they say, if, if uh, with the following or which of the opinion will be, if the unfair dismissal case is not adjusted, is not adjusted means it is management will be successful management is successful there is no claim happening if there is no claim that is going to happen then is not ad adjusted for a dis or for or disclosed within the financial statement if that is the case nothing is a normal procedure they have see you the the person the finance director claimed it but claim is unsuccessful. When claim is unsuccessful, are we going to do any adjustments in our financial statements? No. Then answer is? Unmodified audit opinion. Are you clear? Yeah. Read this. We will do this also. When we'll come back, if there is a time, I will tell you to come back in the evening, okay? Uh, in the evening, I have a wedding. No, you, you have to give some time, okay? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow at 10? No, 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 tomorrow 11 o'clock, I'm having class. Okay, from, okay, from 10, 10 to 11. 11. We will tell, I will, I will let you know, okay? Tomorrow we'll have, okay? Inshallah. Read this one. 
Assume it is the 1st of July 2015. Shaitan Moore and the company is an audit of Perco. A listed computer software company. The audit team comp comprises an engagement partner, a recently appointed audit manager, an audit senior, and a number of the audit assistants. The audit engagement partner has only been appointed this year due to the rotation of the previous partner who had been involved in the audit for seven years. Only the audit senior has experience of auditing a company in this specialized industry. The previous audit manager who is a close friend to the new audit manager left the firm before the completion the completion of the period year audit and is now the finance audit of Fernco. The board of fair has asked its company can take and uh, can take on some additional work and have asked if the following additional non audit services can be provided. Payroll, routine maintenance of payroll records, recruitment, which is assistance with selection of a new financial controller, including the checking of reference, tax, which is tax services whereby scan and go with lease with the tax authority on her behalf. The company has identified that the current year fees to be received from Fair and Co. audits and other services would represent 16% of the firm total fee income and total 15.5% of the period year. The audit engagement partner has asked you to consider what can be done in relation to this self-interest threat. Mr. Hmm. It's only 15%, right? It should not exceed 15%. Yeah. Or 16. Yeah. Uh, how much did I mention? 16. 16. 16? No. 15, right? Yes. Okay. So the first question. Complete the following sentence regarding the audit team by selecting from the option provided. In relation to the compensation of the current audit team, the fundamental principle of I said I cannot see when you drag down. Huh? I cannot see when you drag down. Is it now it's visible? No, you need to take a screenshot. Is it visible now? No. For one minute. Hmm. Check. In relation to the compensation of the current audit team, the fundamental principle of confidentiality is at risk because they do other services, including the audit. Right? Oh. Okay. An appropriate safeguard to deal with this risk would be to Appoint a completely new audit team, provide industry training right now. First one is what? Confident, uh, confident. In relation to the con composition of the current team, the fundamental principle is what? Confident. Fundamental means first principle is what? Confidentiality. First principle is you be professional competent. You have to be, you are a professional, then confidentiality comes second. 
Is it a risk? Is it right? They are professional. But it's, uh, the composition of the sentence is at a risk. Yes. In relation to composition of current, the fundamental principle of professional competence is at risk. Is that the Why fundamental? Is it professional? Yeah. Why is it under professional? I choose confidentiality because uh, they are doing other service, including the audit service. By selecting the options, is it right? See, when you confidence, the confidence, see, if you are professional, compete, see what we are doing, what is there, you read the scenario. The audit comprise engagement partner, recently appointed audit partner, audit senior, number of audit assistants, audit assistants. The engaged partner has been only been appointed this year due to rotation of the previous partner who has been involved in the audit for seven years. Fine. Only the audit senior has experience of auditing a company in this specialized industry. Who is having experience? Audit seniors. Other people are not having experience. The previous audit manager who is a close friend of the new audit manager left the firm before the completion of the audit. The board of fear has asked Skymo can take in some additional work and have asked if the following additional non-audit staffs can be provided. Payroll, routine, recruitment, assistance, tax. See, payroll is specialized, recruitment is specialized, tax is specialized. Skymore has, Sky, Skymore has identified current year fees to be received from fear for audit and others will represent 16% of the firm total fee income totaling 15.5 in the period. The audit engagement partner has been asked you to consider what can be done in relation to this self. Okay. Complete the following sentence. Regard audit team. Audit team, only one person is professionally qualified. Other people are not qualified. Means if you take non-confidentiality will be at risk or professional competence will be at risk. Because of the assistance, you mean? Ah. You'll have a professional comp Okay, Mr. Okay, they're all to also confidentiality because they are... See, there are you, you, you are having only one person senior who is having qualified. Now you want your team. You are recruiting people who are in science background, who are in IT background, or you will prefer to... Recruit people who are in accounting and auditing background. Accounting and auditing uh, background. Why people prefer auditing and our team? Because they have the they have the professional understanding. Confidentiality mm -hmm. comes second. Confidentiality is is not at risk, is it right? In this we are we are we wish to have a team. When we used to have a team. We need professional people. We don't need unprofessional people. Are you clear about this? Yes. Next. What is the second one? An appropriate safeguard to deal with this risk it would be what we have to do? Change. Appoint a completely new audit team. Provide yes, industry training for team members. Reinstate the previous partner. Can we reinstate previous partner? No. Can we resign? No. no. The engagement? No. No. We appoint a completely different team because we are not we are not responsible for their training, right? We cannot give the auditors training again, Mr. The moment you are appointing new team, is it right? The moment you are appointing new team, any new member, any you are joining a new audit firm, initially they will provide you training. 
is that they provide you training for the team members. Is it right? In a proper safeguard to deal with the risk. What is, appointing a, a new audit team is a safeguard? Is that appointing a new audit team? See, we provide, appoint a new audit team. Can we making any precautionary measures we are doing? No. If you provide industry, see, any audit firm, you are joining after this. When the moment you join any audit firm, first they will give you a training. Is that? They will give the training. You are, you are moving from one audit to another audit, one firm to another. See, you are doing airline industry, aviation audit. You will do bank audit. Again, bank audit, they will give you training that what are the things that has to be required in bank audit. What are the things? See, even in bank audit, they, were, they are specialized audit. Is that? Now, every, the, the most, what is the safeguard? You train them that, yes, these are the things we have to take precautions. These are the things we have to work like that. You have, the moment you train them, what will happen? The audit team will be, they, they are professionals, you have to train them, they will become experts. Just appointing a new team doesn't make any difference. If you are appointing a new team, what will happen? Are you making any safe? See, you have to create awareness among the team members. Is that you have to create awareness among the team members. The moment you create awareness, see every day, wherever it is there, training is very important. You are recruiting the per persons, fine, you are recruiting the employees, but just recruiting the employees will be sufficient. Whoever joins an organization, first three months, they will give training. Is it okay? Mm. Are you clear about this? Yes. Okay. Is it visible to you on the screen? Yeah. yeah. Fine. Go to the next one. Which of the following, read this one. Which of, which the, of the following identifies the threat which could arise as a result of the finance director? Previous employment at this company recommends an appropriate safeguard. A self-review threat, review the work performed by the previous audit manager, a familiarity threat, a different audit manager should be appointed, self-review threat, change of the existing audit plan, again a familiarity threat, the firm should resign the firm engagement with the firm. It's a sin. Uh, uh, it's a familiarity threat. A different other manager should be appointed. Familiarity threat. The auditor should resign. No. Never. Never. We may change the audit manager. Yes. Answer is? A familiarity threat, a different audit manager should be appointed. 13. Ignoring the potential effect on total fee levels. Match the non-audit services to the threat to independence which was created in the company where to provide the proposed services. Recruitment, none of the services. In, in payroll, tax, tax will, will be advocacy. Tax will be at? Advocacy. advocacy. Payroll will be self-interest. No, no, self-review. Tell me again. Payroll, self-review. Self Is it correct? I don't know. Once we, we will submit. Once 15 is over, we will submit. Okay. Which of, Which of the following safeguards would not be relevant in mitigating the threat identified in relation to peace? 
Disclosure uh, to those charged with government that the fees of Greco represent more than 15% of the total fee income. A pre-insurance review to be conducted by an external accountant. The use of separate teams to provide the audit and non-audit service. A post-insurance review to be conducted by an external accountant or regulatory body. Which of the following safeguards will not be relevant in mitigating the threat identified in relation to this? The two insurance review to be conducted by an external audit. He said again, what do they mean by in, uh, not be relevant in mitigating huh? threat identified in mitigation? What do they mean by? Which of the following safeguards would not be relevant in mitigating the threats identified in relation? Disclose to charge with governance that fees from represents more than. If the fee income is increasing by 15%, you have to communicate, disclose to the management that the fee has been increasing. Is it? Fee has been, it is relevant. You have to. A pre-issuance review to be conducted by the external accountant. Is that anything happen? Means you have to review by external person, not by the internal person. Okay. The you that is also a part of that. Is that pre-issuance review means it has to be see do you conduct with the external management external accountant? It will not happen impact on the fees. Fees should not increase more than 15%. Okay. Now the issue of separate teams to provide audit and non-audit services. When you are using a separate teams, definitely the fee will increase now. Is that the... Again. See. They are talking about the safeguards, okay? If you are using, would not be relevant. What, what are the safeguards? See, if you are using two teams, see, you can use that. There is no doubt on that. You can use a audit and not audit services subject to the condition that the threshold of 15% should not cross. Okay, yes. The, yes. the threshold of 15% should not cross. To the very important things, these are the things which will be there in examination. Is it? Now, what happens? You, what happens, disclose, first you have to disclose that, this is a safeguard, okay? You have to disclose to the management that 15% is, is a safeguard. You are, you are, do the things by the external auditor, it is external accountant, it is a safeguard, okay? Use of separate teams is not a safeguard. Is that, we are not protecting ourselves. If we are using two teams, the, the, the charges will increase more than 15%. A post-issuance review to be conducted by external accountant. See, the moment it is external accountant, what will happen? The fee is not coming to us. It is going to the other party. When it is going to the other party, it is a safeguard. Is that? It is a safeguard. Okay? When we use two, two people, two teams, we are employing more number of people. When you employ more, we are taking more number of jobs. When you are taking more number of jobs and employing more people, definitely the the fees element will increase. Is it? In order to make make it a point, you take only one job. You provide either inter audit or you provide non audit services. You provide audit and non audit services. It is a safeguard. But if you are providing both the services and it will have impact on your fee structure, then it will, it's not a safeguard. Is it clear? No. Is it okay? Yeah, I'm not that much. So, Mr. So, Mr. Hmm. The first one you eliminated is, is subject to... Yes, that is a safeguard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then... Again, external accountants will need fees as well. But it is not coming to our account now. Mm. 
Is it? It's not coming to our account. We are doing the C. If what will happen? But if we use in the third one, if we use separate teams, it will come to our account because it's the same audit form, huh. but separate. Teams. Huh. Right? Yes. So we would eliminate this one as well. You, if you are, if you are, see, use of separate teams to provide audit and not audit services. It is relevant. It is not relevant. It is a safeguard or it is not a safeguard. Uh, it's, it's, a it's a safeguard. safeguard. No. no. Yes, 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 Mister. We're using different teams. Safeguard. What will happen to your fees? Fees will be done less or more? No. Regarding the fees, yes, it will be more. It will be more. If it is a more, it is relevant or not relevant? Regarding the safeguards. It is different. It is. See what they are asking us. What they are asking us. Not relevant. Is it what they are asking us? Which of safeguards would not be in mitigating the threat identify in relation to fees? Yes. Yes. In relation to fees. Is right? it is relevant. In relation to the fees. In relation to the fees, which is, oh. it is, say, would not be relevant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got, I got confused. It won't, it won't be relevant because the fees will increase again. Yes. Okay, so, okay, it's, so it's number three. Last one. During... During, During the course of the audit of Kirk Hall, the, the suspicious cash transfer has been identified. Has been identified, okay? The audit team has reported this to the relevant firm representative as a potential money laundering transaction. Which of the following statements is true regarding? The confidentiality of this information. During the course of the audit for company, a suspicious cash transfer has been identified. The audit team has reported this to the Finland firm representation as a potential money laundering transaction, which was from statements to regarding the confidentiality. So the first one is details of the transaction can only be disclosed with the permission of Franco free company if there is a legal requirement to report money laundering this is over over ideas the principle of the confidentiality sky more company is not permitted to disclose details of the suspicious transaction as the information has been obtained during the course of the audit. In order to maintain confidentiality, Skyamore and Co. should report its concerns and anonymously. So, Mister, mm. there is a transaction of money that happened, mm. and the audit thinks that this is a money laundering, okay. right? Okay. The auditors can enter the bank statements and dis and see the details of the transaction, right? That's allowed. Right? Right? Huh? Tell me. Is it allowed for the auditor to enter the bank statement and see the details of the transactions? This is money laundering. Is it right? This is against against the law. No. No. Against the law. Is it right? If there is against the law, is it right? You you have to report. ACC code of ethics says, is it right? Confidentiality information may be disclosed when it is mm. required by law. Yes. yes. Is it confidentiality? If the it is as per the requirement of the law, you don't need or client permission also. This is as per ACCA Code of Ethics and Conduct. 
confidentiality we have not covered chapter 4 okay when we cover chapter 4 we will cover this is it confidential information if there is anything is there confidential if uh, inform you think it's confidential but it is against the law you can up, you can report you can break the confidentiality understand you, you you should not think about the confidentiality if things are going against the law of the country law of the land then the auditor has the right to break the confidentiality details of the transactions can only be disclosed with no permission is required no permission is required 100% if there is a legal requirement to report money laundering the this overrides the principle of confidentiality if there is a legal requirement there is no point of con confidentiality we should not auditor should not think about confidentiality Skymore is not permitted to disclose details. Why it is not permitted to disclose suspicious transactions? As the information has been said, no, you have to disclose it. Is it? Is there, we cannot say that not permitted. No, it has permitted. In order to maintain confidentiality, Skymore should report it. Concern? Anom? Why should it be anonymously, without our name? Something is going wrong against the law of the land. if it is going and that also related to money laundry that also related to money laundry if it is related to money laundering and going against the law you have the right to break the confidentiality you should not think about the confidentiality you can directly report to the home to the concerned authorities answer is there is a legal requirement to report the money laundering the overrides the principles of confidentiality are you understanding my point yes yes, yes mr no mr i got a question is it clear if it's something yeah yeah if it's something regarding the law they can break the confidentiality and clean for it but if it's something about the public public or everything against stakeholders is it no no against the law against the law they have not mentioned anything no. against the public against the law okay because okay, i saw a question in section a where it says it's it's the same question asking about if they should break the law or no if they, they should break the confidentiality or no and uh, the choices are if it's against the public if it's against the law and like if it's against the public and the law against the law law on the right yes. okay are you clear about this yes tomorrow when you are coming back we will start section b okay okay before we go okay. just i will submit it and i'll see how things are working check Okay. I will send you the file. I will take the things and I will send you this file. Okay. Is it clear to you? Alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Yeah. Yeah. they gave the explanations also i will take the things and i'll give it back to you okay sir tomorrow